cover this story courtesy of High Snobiety regarding the second collaboration between Dr. Martins and Rick Owens, which looks like it's going to be a long lasting collaboration or like a long um, lasting agreement between the both brands. Because I thought it was a bit of a one off because I kind of thought it was a really big coup that Dr. Martins ended up getting someone like Rick Owens to agree to a collaboration because I had the feeling ever since the Adidas collab, he kind of took a step back from doing collabs with like big, you know, sportswear or footwear manufacturers. Obviously he does some stuff with Veja now at the moment, that vegan shoe brand, but I thought that might be more of a um, principled, uh, morals kind of lifestyle type thing because he might be vegan himself or vegetarian or whatever it is. And maybe like that makes sense. But ever since the Adidas collab, I feel like Rick Owens hasn't necessarily wanted to dip his toe back into that kind of pool. What can I think of? That's another thing that kind of defeats that purpose. I can't think of anything else. Has he got, no, he's got coverage with Converse, hasn't he? So I can't really say that. Maybe the Converse one's a different one, but he hasn't really gone for that kind of highbrow Adidas Nike thing again. He's just kind of stuck to the, you know, the other parts of footwear industry, like the Converse, like the Dr. Martins. And I have to say, this second iteration of the collaboration between Rick Owens and Dr. Martins might be my favorite. The first one was pretty standard, I felt like, in terms of an appeal, because it had a particular kind of upper that if you're used to wearing Rick Owens footwear, you would have known what that's about. I'm not really, I forgot the name of the shoe, but it was based on something, the lacing system. So it was kind of essentially just a 1460 Dr. Martin with a zip on the side, a really chunky sort of like industrial zip with these extra laces kind of wrapped around the outside of it that kind of made it look like um, a kind of an, uh, a Rick Owens shoe that you would have maybe seen before. I'm actually going to get a picture of the first collaboration here up on the screen so you have a reference for it. But if I'm not mistaken, I think it was called the Bexley or something or the Beaksley, I think. Was it Bexley? It's 1460, right? But I forgot what the actual model of it was called, but it was pretty kind of standard in terms of the appeal and the look of it. Because if you're used to wearing a sort of Rick Owens shoe, you would have seen something similar to this um, featured on other Rick Owens that they put out. And I actually like the, the flip on the black laces, but obviously the off kind of grey colour laces look far better, but you can also do them with the black. So essentially it's a 1460 classic kind of Dr. Martin shoe. It might have a slightly thicker midsole, maybe, than the classic Dr. Martens, or maybe I'm just used to mine being really thin because I wore them out. And then on the upper, it's kind of got this concealed um, zipper that you can't really see here on the top where they where they kind of zips up a little bit here i'm pretty sure it zips up on the inside and then there's these eyelets here on the outside these metal hooks that you kind of lace the shoe around that kind of copies um yeah that's what it's called the, the dr mine's 1460 bex rico laced that kind of copies obviously another rico boot that they put out i forgot what it's called what's it based on again it's based on santa rico and feels it based on is it in, is it or inspiration let's see if someone has got it what was inspired by what was the original shoe it's a shoe that they've got in their lineup already. Okay, no one's no one's got it featured here, but I'm sure somebody might have spoken about it. But it's a pretty decent shoe regardless. But I have to be honest and say, I think this second iteration might be my favorite so far. I'm not going to lie. Obviously, the model himself kind of makes it a little bit special by, you know, basically what the guy looks like. He's covered in these amazing tattoos. He's got this cape on and these gloves. And these, um, I think they're like 1490s, if I'm not mistaken. I used to work at Dr. Martin, so I kind of know my Dr. Martin's in and out. I think there's a 1490s. Um, the, the 14 whole ones, the kind of ones that come up to you just a bit below your knee. And then the other classic ones, just the thicker laces and the thicker sole. And obviously that kind of maybe lending to the fact that everybody's wearing these flipping double sole, thick Dr. Martin Jaden boots that I have at the moment. Um, I've kind of worn, I've worn through two pairs all the way through from just raving and going out. These tattoos are really cool, man. I've kind of worn through the two pairs. So to see somebody wearing another one as well, and to see them done in the Rick Owens iteration is quite nice with these metal eyelets and these thick laces that go around the front of them and that extra long tongue that looks pretty cool. So I'm a big fan of those. And then actually see the actual shoe itself. As you can see here, you've got the upper, which is a sort of like tumbled leather all over the top, which is going to be really soft. I'm assuming it's leather. I'm not, I'm not assuming it's not vegan. It's got a double sole on the outsole. You've got these metal eye, eyelet loops as well, which help to kind of stop all the fraying and the weirdness on the laces when you're tying them or wearing them day in, day out. And these extra thick um, Rick Owen spec kind of laces with this kind of weird off grey colour, whatever he does with these laces that he puts the kind of application on there. And an extra long tongue also. So I'm a big fan of it. And of course, the piece de resistance is the little zip on the outside, actually, which is interesting because on most Rick Owen's shoes especially sneakers the zip is always on the inside 
which is kind of easy to kind of put it on so you can kind of squeeze your foot in there because usually this little front bit towards the bottom of the tongue is kind of tight so it's kind of hard well, it is for me to get my fat foot in there so having a zip on the inside helps to kind of alleviate some of that tightness but this zip on here on the outside is quite cool because you don't necessarily see it on the outside like i said before and i do like the fact that it's always a chunky zip um maybe it's a is it a riri zip i don't think it's a riri it probably is a classic yk uh ykk zip but those riri zips those japanese made zips are fucking amazing there's another one too that they use right um that's italian i forgot the manufacturer of it that they use also that i think i might have a jacket from flipping rick Owens that has that zip on it but yeah i'm a big fan of that i love the look of it um all black on the upper and then on the 1490 you've got this kind of pony hair type upper um we've got classic loops classic eyelets with the metal eyelets here on the top towards these kind of main holes and then all the way up you've got these little hoops that go all the way around and i'm a fan of this also so that's a really 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 aggressive shoe but i'm a big fan of these i'm not going to lie it's just interesting to me that these don't ever appear on a runway i wonder if that's a an agreement he's put into place or because they had issues producing it because usually when there's collaborations you would imagine you want to get as much eyes and ears on it as possible so you just implement them on the runway like they do with undercover like they do with sakai in terms of their nike collabs and obviously rick Owens did it previously with his first adas collaboration but you don't really see the dr martin's features on the runway you've seen the converse's feature on the runway but i haven't seen the dr martin issue i wonder why that is and they are rick Owens. they're not dark shadow either so it's not like they're like a subsidiary brand or like the What's the, what the, what's the word called? There's a word for it where they call the fucking, um, the cheaper stuff, but it's not even that. It's clearly something else. But yeah, the zipper looks fucking substantial. I'm a big fan of stuff like this because if they're, if they're adding zippers that thick, that kind of detailing, a zipper that you normally find in a jacket and they put it on the side of a boot, it means the quality is going to be supreme. And of course, the quality of those mines are always really high anyway. Um, it's very rare that we had people coming into a store saying, oh, my shoe fell apart. Maybe because of a manufacturing issue, but not because of a quality issue. Do you know what I mean? Maybe whoever's on the, whoever's on the flipping factory floor didn't glue them on properly but the quality of them is always always up 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 there so i'm really keen on these i think they're absolutely brilliant i think they actually look far more interesting than this first collaboration in my opinion even though i do like these and i think they look more i guess wearable to the everyday public maybe the converse is another one too that maybe my people might be a fan of but the original ones actually the adidas collaboration are still some of my favorite collabs uh let's see rick owens adidas that was actually and it's actually one of my favorite looks too on the runway i think they might have a picture of the kid who was wearing the shoes on the runway but i think the picture on the runway is one of my favorite um pictures of uh, rick owens model wearing something obviously that's him at the end of the show but the shoe itself i thought was awesome um, it's basically this shoe here with these kind of big cloud kind of uh, front foot and four foot at the heel type things they look very similar to like a uh, yeezy actually um so that's pretty cool to see um i'm actually interested why they don't actually have more collaborations between yeezy and what's his name and rick owens anyway in general but i think these look pretty cool can't actually see them on there um let me see someone's got them on a run runway an image of them but i remember there was a model wearing them from time that was one of my favorite pictures yeah this is from this show what is it from spring summer what um from this eBay. it's from spring summer 14 that's when that is yeah that's the shoot that's the one one of my favorite looks from that show was this look here that's basically what i kind of envisioned envision myself to look like when i wear fucking rick owens with this kind of leather um sleeveless kind of vesty thing that's you know elongated with these fucking drop crotch uh pants with the shoes tied up in that particular way that's a supreme look man i'd wear this look right now actually one of my favorite looks ever from spring spring summer 2014 so yeah big up recommends for putting that together hopefully we get to see them soon hopefully we get to see them soon